Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. Today, I am going to be bringing you the Butcher and Spider Boss Guide. These two bosses are actually super easy to do, but I noticed a lot of the community doesn't know the small tips and tricks about them that makes them super easy and really fast to do. Also, I just want to say before we get into the video that I do stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash gunsmack, where you can always come over there and learn a few jumps, learn a few tips, or just ask any questions you might have. I am always there if you guys uh, need some quick information. It's better that you come to my channel on Twitch and uh, at, talk to me over there rather than leaving a YouTube comment because I can respond to you in real time. So if you're ever interested, come over to my channel, twitch.tv slash gunsmack. Uh, I'd appreciate to see you there and it'd be awesome to have you guys over. But yeah, if you guys do find this video useful as well, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you can. And if you could comment on the video, it does help me out a lot with the algorithm. So yeah, I would appreciate that a lot. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video here. All right, let's talk about the setup and what you need. So for the butcher, we're gonna start off with him first. Basically, all you need for the butcher is a stamina shot. And if you're not running a stam shot every game, uh, what are you doing? It's like the best consumable in the game. It, it literally does everything for you. Uh, I know that the price did get increased, but it's still worth to bring one of them, in my opinion, even though the price was increased. But if you are worried about money, you can just bring a little one and pop it right before you do the boss. They do last five minutes now, so that is nice. But yeah, so the butcher, you're going to need a stam shot, but it, it's worth it because stam shot allows you to do the boss, every boss in the game really fast, uh, except the spider because of her long fury times. But they allow you to do the bosses fast, sprint around the map infinitely, chase people down, and kill as many AI as you want, right? That's the, that's the benefit, right? They're so, so good. So with the, the Butcher, basically what you have to do is find a regular axe or bring in a combat axe, right, on the in the world, just like you see me pick one up here. And all you're going to do is just run at him, hit him twice, and then just start smacking him in the back. You just want to hammer him right in the back. So just keep doing little 180s around him. It's okay if you get sun on fire because you're going to banish and get your health back anyways. But you just want to keep hammering him in the back. Every time you smack him in the back, it staggers him and it resets his uh, his frenzy mode. So you just want to keep smacking him in the back and it's just super, super easy. That's all there is to it. There is nothing else more to the butcher. All you got to do, just smack him in the back, run in 180s and keep hitting him. You can do this with multiple teammates. Uh, but sometimes I've noticed it, it does make it harder for you if you have multiple teammates doing it. But if you don't have stam shots, I recommend you bring teammates and you all just do it. But if you do, then just do solo. I should also mention that it does have to be an axe or a combat axe. You can't do this with a hammer, shovel, or pitchfork. Uh, it just doesn't work the same. All right, now let's talk about the spider. So the spider is much easier to do uh, than the butcher or any other boss in the game for that matter. It's probably the easiest in the game actually. Uh, but the one thing about her that no one talks about, I've never seen this anywhere on YouTube or talked about in any other streams until I started like talking about it with other streamers. Um, all you need to do, you don't even need stamp shot for this. All you need to do with the spider is find a hammer or an axe. It works with both. A uh, hammer is a little bit better, though, just by slightly. It doesn't really matter, though. Um, hammer or axe, and you want to do heavy, light, heavy. Or you could do light, heavy, heavy. As long as you get a light attack with the hammer or axe before your second heavy attack, you will effectively skip a phase on the spider's uh, frenzy mode, which takes a lot of time. If you ever need a clutch banish, you need to just do the boss as fast as you can. So, which all you gotta do is just heavy, light, heavy, or light, heavy, heavy. I like doing heavy, light, heavy, because normally when you first run in, you can get a heavy on her, then she screams at you, and then you can light attack her before she runs away. So that's just the way I do it, but you can do either or. But yeah, all it is, heavy, light, heavy. This way you can effectively skip a frenzy mode and it saves you around 20 to 30 seconds on the boss fight. Super, super nice. And as you can see here, it didn't finish her all the way, but I can just tank her damage and finish her off because she's almost dead, right? So it's just super, super nice. I'm going to show another example of that, but yeah, that's all there is to it. 
Also, if you really want to just secure the boss as well, whenever you uh, get her into her frenzy mode, just shoot her a couple times or even give her a couple smacks, even though she uh, doesn't take that much damage. This way, it'll guarantee that you actually end up finishing her off in the third frenzy uh, every single time, right? So you can shoot her or just hit her a bit, especially if you have like a bow or a crossbow uh, when she's in frenzy, like right here, right now. If you could just shoot her a little bit, it would also help finish her off even faster. If you guys are curious i already do have an assassin guide on the channel you can find that in the with a link in the description and i'll have it posted in the top right of the screen as well the assassin is a lot more complicated complicated and complex than any other boss in the game and there's a lot of stuff that i have to explain and that you need to understand about the assassin before uh you can do the assassin strategy fully but yeah I will have that link down below and in the top right hand corner if you guys are interested in that. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is literally it. I am going to leave some gameplay with you on your way out to help get the video to 10 minutes or so. So that um, it does better and, and gets, you know, is, is helped in the algorithm. So there will be some gameplay at the end if you guys are interested in that. It'll be there for you. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. Don't forget to give this video a like if it helped you or you learned something. And don't forget to check out the Assassin Guide with the link in the description. Also, just another reminder, I do stream on Twitch. If you ever want to come over there and say what up, hang out and chat, or ask any questions. I'm always uh, happy to help my viewers. And, you know, you guys support me. I support you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Other than that, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.